Hello student welcome to learn more maths today we are going to find the solution for a given problem from exercise 4.2 pair of linear equations in two variables chapter so student uh, in the previous class uh, we have found a solution for a given pair of equations using substitution method and elimination method so he has given directly equations he is asking to find the solution but here he has not given directly equation he has given a situation from the given situation we have to form uh, equations then after we have to solve so previous class lo mana direct ga atane rendu equations ichadu h solve cheyamannadu student so equations h solve cheyamannadu kabatti mana substitution method elimination method dwara solve chesam but here ikkada manaku equations direct ga ivvakunda oka situation ichadu aa situation aadharanga maname equations form cheyali equations form jc manam solution find out cheyali so see student what he has given so this is first problem from exercise 4.2 question number 1 the ratio of incomes of two persons is 9 is to 7 and the ratio of their corresponding sorry and the ratio of their expenditures is 4 is to 3 if each of them manages to save rupees 2000 per month find their monthly income so student uh, see here uh, from the situation we have to form equations first each not want a situation other and man first equations rally so equation ela form just the most students to them first to today so let the two persons be a and b let the two persons first to let the two persons uh, so let them as a a and b so let the two persons a and b so the ratio of their incomes ratio of their incomes he has given how much student 9 is to 7 this is the ratio of their incomes so what it means actually if the income of A is 9 rupees, then the income of B becomes 7 rupees. If the income of A is 900 rupees, then the income of B is 700 rupees. If the income of A is 90,000 rupees, then the income of B is 70,000 rupees. That is the meaning of ratio. So, C student, let the income of a so let the income of a be 9x let the income of a 9x so this is income of a let the income of a be 9x so income of a you know 9x and could not let a so then what is the income of b so income of b becomes 7x is it clear student so income of a 9x rupees in at late income of b m out on the 7x rupees this is income so then income of b becomes 7x income of b so income of b becomes 7x if the income of a is 9x then income of b becomes 7x so in the same way he has given ratio of their expenditures expenditures ratio of their expenditures is 4 is to 3 again what it means student if a expenditure is 4 rupees then b expenditure is 3 rupees in the same way if a expenditure is 400 rupees then b expenditure becomes 300 rupees if a expenditure is 40,000 rupees then b expenditure becomes 30,000 rupees so let uh, let the income let the expenditure of a so expenditure of a let the expenditure of a 4y so student you know a yok expenditure 4y anukuntunna so what can you say about expenditure of b then the expenditure of b becomes 3y is it clear then the expenditure of b becomes 3y so if the expenditure of a is 4y 
so then the expenditure of b becomes 3y so see student uh, each of them manages to save rupees 2000 per month he has given savings so a savings are 2000 a savings is rupees 2000 in the same way b savings is also rupees 2000 so we have general principle student suppose so a earns rupees 10000 per month a ane vaadi yokka income person a yokka income 10000 anukundam student andulo athanu 6000 6000 expenditure anukundam income 10000 expenditure 6000 so oka athani savings entha avutundi 4000 how much so 10000 income vastundi 6000 expenditure aithe ikka migitha amount enti savings 10000 how can we get 4000 10000 minus 6000 so like that here also so a a income is so this is a income of a is income of a is how much student 9x and expenditure of uh, expenditure of a so what is the expenditure of a student 4y so what is the savings 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 how much student 2000 savings how much 2000 so this is about a student income of a is 9x expenditure of a is 4y savings is 2000 in the same way b so income of b is how much student 7x income of b is 7x expenditure of b is how much 3y savings is 2000 but general principle is so income minus expenditure is equal to savings so manaku ochina 20 income lo nundi mana enta kharchu pettemo teesesthe manaku savings vastundi that is the general principle this is the general principle student income minus expenditure is equal to savings this is a general principle so income minus expenditure is equal to savings so i want to write the in terms of a so yes so income is 9x expenditure is 4y savings is 2000 so how can we get savings by subtracting expenditure from the income that is 9x minus 4y is equal to 2000 9x minus 4y is equal to 2000 so i want to read the savings of b also in the same way so that is b's income is 7x expenditure is 3y savings is again 2000 so 7x minus 3y is equal to 2000 these are the equations student so these are the equations from these two equations we have to find the solution to get the incomes so equations form so form jayashin equations ki solution find out so see student so how can we find the solution see student uh, how can we find the solution so solution so let the two persons be a and b let the two persons let the two persons be a and b so let the two persons be a and b the ratio of their incomes he has given the ratio of their incomes the ratio of their incomes is 9 is to 7 the ratio of their incomes is 9 is to 7 so let the income of a let the income of a income of a be a rupees 9x 
so let the income of a be rupees 9x then the income of b becomes then the income of b then the income of b becomes a rupees 7x so income of a meer 9x rupees anukunnatlaite income of b em avutundi 7x rupees avutundi so and also he has given and the ratio of and the ratio of their expenditures and the ratio of their expenditures and the ratio of their expenditures is uh, how much student 4 is to 3 4 is to 3 so what it means uh, let the expenditure of uh, let the expenditure of a let the expenditure of a be uh, rupees 4 1 so let the expenditure of a be rupees 4y then the expenditure of b becomes rupees 3y then the expenditure then the expenditure of b then the expenditure of b becomes rupees 3y so student uh, the ratio of their expenditures is 4 is to 3 has given so meru a yokka expenditure 4 y rupees anukunnatlaite b yokka expenditure 3 y rupees avutundi so if each of them manages rupees 2000 to save if their savings if their savings is rupees 2000 If their savings is rupees two thousand per month, so generally we can get income minus expenditure equal to savings. So generally we have we have income minus expenditure is equal to savings income minus expenditure is equal to savings so person a savings are person a savings are a savings are so see student how can we get a savings is income minus expenditure a income is 9x so see student a income is 9x minus a expenditure is 4y is equal to savings is 2000 so let this is equation number one student a is savings so generally we have income minus expenditure equal to savings a is income is rupees 9x Yes, expenditure is rupees 4y. So, 9x minus 4y is equal to 2000. So, that is savings. So, B's savings are B's So, B's income is 7x. 7x. B's expenditure is 3y. And savings of B is also rupees 2000. So, these are the two equations, student. From these two equations, we have to solve for x and y values. So, how can we find a solution for the equations? See, student, mana kochina 20 equations. So, e and equations are 9x minus 4y equal to 2000, 7x minus 3y equal to 2000. So, now we have to find solution either by substitution method or by elimination method. So, in elimination method, lo solution find out ki x coefficients or y coefficients equal. Jayal. 
so here i want to equalize the y coefficient so here y coefficient is minus 4 here y coefficient is minus 3 so i want to multiply equation 1 by 3 on both sides and equation 2 by 4 on both sides to equalize the y coefficients ikkada manam y coefficients equal cheyadaniki equation 1 ni 3 tho multiply cheyali equation 2 ni 4 tho multiply cheyali so see student multiplying equation 1 multiplying equation 1 by 3 by 3 on both sides on both sides we get so see student i am multiplying equation 1 this is equation 1 by 3 on both sides so on the left hand side multiply by 3 3 into 9x minus 4y is equal to on the right hand side 3 into 2y so this is equation 1 student uh, multiply by 3 on both sides uh, so left hand side is 9x minus 4y multiply by 3 you can get a 3 into 9x minus 4y is equal to 3 into 2000 so now multiply by 3 3 into 9x is 27x 3 into minus 4y is minus 12y is 3 into 2000 is 6000 let it is equation number 3 let it is equation number 3 just multiply by 3 student 3 into 9x is 27x 3 into minus 4y is minus 12y is equal to 3 into 2000 is 6000 let it is equation number 3 so again we have to multiply equation 2 by 4 on both sides so see student multiplying multiplying equation uh, 2 by 4 equation 2 by 4 on both sides on both sides we get what we get on both sides we get so see student what we get i am multiplying equation 2 by 4 on both sides so this is equation 2 7x minus 3y equal to 2000 so multiply by 4 so on the left hand side 4 into 7x minus 3y 4 into 7x minus 3y is equal to on the right hand side 4 into 2000 so multiply by 4 4 into 7x is 28x so 4 into minus 3y that is at minus 12y is equal to 4 into 2000 that is 8000 let it is equation number 4 so students simply i have multiplied by 4 equation 2 on both sides so 4 into 7x is 28x 4 into minus 3y is minus 12y 4 into 2000 is 8000 so now observe student equation 3 and 4 the y coefficients are equal by subtracting equation 3 from equation 4 we can get x value so subtracting equation 3 from equation 4 see student subtracting subtracting equation 3 equation 3 from equation 4 from equation 4 we get so subtracting equation 3 from equation 4 we get student uh, what is equation 4 student uh, so see student i am writing here uh, so what is equation 4 so this is equation 4 28x minus 12y is equal to 8000 so what is equation 3 27x minus 12y is equal to 6000 so leave some space and draw a line student <coughs> Upon subtraction, the signs remain changes. Here plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus, plus becomes minus. So it is a 28x minus 27x. That is plus 1x. We need not to write one student. That is x. So minus 12y plus 12y gets cancelled. Minus 12y plus 12y is equal to 8000 minus 6000. That is 2000. x is equal to 2000. 
but we require their monthly income so student a income is a 9x b income is 7x he is asking to find us only income so here we need not to find y value student manaki ikkada income maatrame adigindi kabatti so manaku x value tho income ostundi mana malli y value kanukovalsina pan led ikkada so student <coughs> a income is a is income is so for that first find 9x value x is equal to 2000 therefore we require 9x student 9x is equal to 9 into 2000 <coughs> how much student <coughs> so 9x is equal to 9 into 2000 that is 18000 and also we require 7x is equal to 7 into 2000 that is 14000 therefore person a monthly income is person a monthly income is monthly income person a monthly income is equal to rupees 18000 and person b monthly income is equal to person b monthly income is equal to a rupees 14000 this is a, so these are the monthly incomes of two persons a's income is 18000 and b's income is 14000 so like this we can find the solution for the given pair of uh, linear equations student ikkada uh, manaku direct ga equations ivakunda situation ichadu situation adaranga manam equations form cheskovali form chesina twenty equations ki solution find out cheyali so very important student compulsory four marks lo che chance untundi kabatti baga practice cheyali so practice cheste meer easy ga nerchukochu so student in the next class we will find out the solution for the next problem question number two so to get latest updates subscribe to my channel and more mass by varakumar vatnala